So the project uh, started about four years ago when here in the architecture department, we learned that the campus public safety office was going to be torn down. So a colleague, Rudy Barton, who's one of our senior faculty and a, probably my, my mentor, uh, suggested that we should do something special with that territory. And so I took that literally and uh, began seeking out opportunities for how we could transform that space, given that it is the front door to Shattuck Hall and to the architecture department. The overall goal of the plaza is really to provide um, a, a chance for developers to better understand green technologies, um, to better the built environment. If we can start these smaller ecological zones, that then they will be like these nodes that happen around campus and that they will interconnect eventually. Eventually, the university district can become, over a long period of time, um, a more sustainable landscape. The overall goal is to find ways to better the entire city of Portland, but we have to learn um, before we can actually go and implement those into the city. And so this is a, a moment in time where we can really see the effects of what this, this vegetation and this ecology is, is doing in an urban setting. It's every step of the way it's been a learning experience for for us, for the faculty, for the department, and I think that's the overall intention of what we're doing here. Frankly, the Ecological Learning Plaza would not have been possible without a tremendous contribution of students. And with financial support from Metro, we will be monitoring the water and temperature performance of three types of green walls. We're also testing three green roof systems at steeper slopes and without irrigation. And although the experiments will change, the public will always be invited in to see firsthand the research being done by students.